10 times every hour. You want to take a deep breath in so this rises up and that helps prevent you from getting any pneumonia in your lungs. A nurse is an expert clinician, comforter, coordinator of complex care, and patient advocate. There's no rash, I don't see any rash. It just gets so itchy. Nursing is the largest healthcare profession in this country with over three million registered nurses. As our population ages with more chronic illnesses and the Affordable Care Act gives more people access to healthcare services, more highly skilled nurses are needed. I do believe that nurses have the solutions and we're on a path to get them there. Oh, push push my hand. All right. Good job. Concerned about the growing demands on our health care system and on the heels of a report about an impending nurse shortage, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation enlisted the Institute of Medicine in 2008 to assess the changes needed to transform health care through nursing. We worked with the Institute of Medicine because we wanted the evidence and we needed a, a national blueprint. It gets called the future of nursing, leading change, advancing health. The landmark IOM report contains four key messages about nurse training, education, professional leadership, and workforce policy with specific recommendations. Among them, remove scope of practice barriers so advanced practice registered nurses are able to practice to the full extent of their education and training. Increase the proportion of nurses with a baccalaureate degree to 80% by 2020. Prepare and enable nurses to lead change to advance health. And build an infrastructure for the collection and analysis of interprofessional healthcare workforce data. So I want to get programs who are working on things together. Right. To implement the IOM recommendations, RWJF partnered with the largest consumer organization in the world, AARP. It was founded to make sure that people had health care uh, as well as economic security and we also have a very high priority for family caregivers. AARP had already established the Center to Champion Nursing in America and so it was designated to coordinate the new Campaign for Action. We do it through webinars and phone calls and face-to-face -face meetings regionally and of course the most recent summit where we brought all of the action coalitions to Washington and believe me when they get together it's pretty powerful. In just over two years action coalitions were established in every state and the District of Columbia mobilizing thousands of volunteers in the nursing, business, consumer and nonprofit communities. There has to be some transformative change, and what you were talking about is a culture change. For two days in early 2013, representatives from all the Action Coalitions gathered in Washington to talk about the challenges they faced. We've got to do more coalition building and get more solidified with our partners. To share their struggles and successes. I think it's extremely important for nurses to be on boards and so I wanted to gain a little bit of knowledge from all of you to, to help to move that forward in our state. And to create a strategic game plan to address specific issues in their state. We're focusing on doubling the numbers of doctorates and, um, and workforce data collection. The Campaign for Action website is a valuable resource for action coalitions to find evidence about the issues to learn how to frame their messages, and to track the campaign's progress. They can also see who's partnering with other action coalitions to help them strategize ways to reach out to stakeholders who can strengthen their own organizations. This transformation is not about nurses. It's about nurses leading change, and not leading it alone leading it with others. So let me tell you what the plan is today for you. We want to get you out of bed. Nurses on the front lines of care and prevention, at the bedside and in the community. Nurse scientists and researchers making discoveries in the lab. Nurse faculty teaching the next generation of highly skilled nurse leaders. If our nation's healthcare system is to undergo real transformational change to meet the growing demands of our population, nurses are the key.